Okay, Titanfall fans, get ready for this one. So, apparently, and I've actually been working uh, over the last day just to verify some of this information to figure out if this had to be a rumor wave or not. Doesn't seem to be a rumor. Seems to be a certainty, and it's kind of come out of nowhere a bit, and it seems that EA was actually uh, tapping influencers to pretty much try to break this game out and, and help it along by essentially revealing it and putting information out there. But what we're seeing right now is that there does appear to be a Titanfall-themed Battle Royale game, and it's coming soon. Now, the rumor seems to put it on Monday, so basically once we start the week, we're going to have a free-to-play Battle Royale game that is based around the Titanfall universe, and there are some things to point out with this that may concern some people who are fans of it. Now, the initial information came from the YouTube channel, The Quartering, and he put out information all about a game that is coming from Respawn. And the title now that we've we've figured out at this point, as more and more information has come out, is called Apex Legends. It's apparently coming this Monday, free to play Battle Royale game. And while it's in the Titanfall universe, there does not appear to be any sort of titans in the game. Those big mechs that, for example, you're seeing a picture here. If you've played Titanfall, you know what I'm talking about. Apparently, those are not in this game. It seems that uh, wall running, also not a part of the game. Again, odd. And this, as it launches, is going to be a cross, apparently, between Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and Rainbow Six Siege. So I guess a faster but tactical Call of Duty, essentially, more tactical in, in the idea of like Rainbow Six Siege, and it's going to be free to play, and as you can expect, it, it's EA, and a lot of free to play stuff has microtransactions, obviously, because not selling the game to you, so there is a sense of loot boxes, microtransactions, and it seems that they are trying to make this kind of like Overwatch, so it's cosmetic stuff, and most people are okay with free-to-play games having microtransactions that are cosmetic and not game-breaking or advantage-giving. So if you want to make your person look cool and it's a free-to-play game, most people don't mind if someone wants to spend the extra money on it. No one really cares as much about a free-to-play game like Fortnite having things like the Battle Pass and microtransactions and stuff, and V-Bucks. People usually just like the fact that it's free-to-play, and everyone is pretty much uh, the the same, I guess, in terms of uh, abilities when you start the game. So this is going to be a Battle Royale game, and there's been a lot of talk about it. Again, uh, the quartering there, his video is down in the description if you want to go check it out uh, and, and see what he had to say about it as well. But since then, more and more information has come out. Uh, Daniel Ahmed, who is on Twitter that I follow for, like, information for, like, uh, industry stuff, and he makes a lot, again, a lot of charts. He's also talked about how this does appear to be correct as he's seen multiple sources and he's actually seen tangible evidence. So the way EA is going to do this is apparently content creators and streamers mostly, like Dr. Disrespect and Shroud, will actually talk about the game, put it out there, and EA will then reveal it and, I guess, simultaneously launch it on Monday. So we don't have to wait long. It's not going to cost any money to get into it. And it's going to be a game that is going to be released on the PC, PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One. It's going to be 60 frames per second on the consoles as well. PC, maybe they'll even let you do, you know, hundreds of frames. Probably won't be too tough to run to get good frame rate out of it. And then from there, we had Rod Bressel, as you see here, Bresslaw, talk a bit about it as well, saying the sources who have played and have knowledge of the game confirmed to me that Respawn is set to announce and release Apex Legends on Monday, February 4th, free-to-play Titanfall Hero Battle Royale game. Kind of reminds me of, I guess, like a Battlefield Heroes, if you ever played and remember that game. And it's going to feature classes, heroes, unique abilities, maximum of 60 players per server, three players per team. So we will have teams, essentially, no Titans, uh, and it's going to run on Valve's Source Engine, at least a modified version, which means that it'll probably have good frame rate. It might even just be 4K on the Xbox One X, like Titanfall 2 is. So a lot to like about that, but I, I get why some people are going to be thrown off by this. And a lot of that has to do with, of course, it being a Titanfall-based game with no Titans. And there's also concern that uh, this would affect Titanfall 3 in some way. I don't believe that to be the case, because if there is going to be another Titanfall, um, I don't think it would have anything to do with this. This is, I guess, more of a spin-off, and if they are creating Titanfall 3, that would be a bigger game that they would release, hopefully at a better time. Titanfall 2, it got, it got put out at a bad time. EA did not do a good job with that release schedule, and I hope that they know that, 
and uh, Titanfall 3 should still happen. This would be, I think, just a good thing to have because, of course, Respawn will be creating it, it seems, and it would help to bring in, obviously, money through microtransaction stuff. It's, it's what a lot of people have been asking for from EA is to not charge $60 for a game that they're going to then stuff loot boxes, microtransactions, cosmetic stuff in. This is what a lot of people would prefer, a free-to-play game that you can buy stuff if you want and you're not paying to get into it. So I'm curious how this will work out because the gunplay in Titanfall 2 is good. The game itself is good. The story is great. If you play the campaign, it's awesome. And I want to see what Respawn can do uh, because it does appear that they are creating this one, what they can do in an environment like a battle royale. And it's not as... It's not 100 people. It's apparently 60. So I think that might actually be a bit better because that means we have... What do we have? 20 teams then of three. So I could see that actually being a bit more, I guess, a bit tighter in terms of gameplay and the levels and everything. Here's something else that actually just popped up. See, the stuff coming out around this is like it's like constantly breaking right now because as soon as this was thrown out there, it seems like a lot of scrambling is taking place now and everyone's pretty much diving into it and talking about it. Here's Jason Schreier who wrote up an entire piece about this situation, which also is linked down in the description. This is kind of a section here that he posted up from that article that talks a bit about the backstory of this game and Titanfall 3, which we were talking about where Titanfall 3 is a concern. People are wondering if this is Titanfall 3. Uh, but here, Jason actually goes into detail about what happened here. If you remember, um, when EA purchased uh, Respawn, people were a bit curious if it had to do with Nexon, who also bid for the studio. And that apparently may have also been, as you can see here, connected to the closure of Visceral Studios, which still really bothers people to this day. Uh, but Titanfall 3 was well into development and that the studio had been looking to release it by the end of 2018. But the issue, as Jason points out, is that the technology that was being that was used to develop Titanfall 3 was still that source engine. And while it looked good when it first came out with Titanfall 1, Titanfall 2 still looked pretty good. But I think the best part about the source engine with Titanfall was that it was optimized well. And for the most part, if you were playing on like a PC, you were getting a good frame rate out of it. The Xbox One X was able to do a great frame rate within high resolution. But the look in the in the feel of it of course is getting a bit dated and jason is pointing out that they may have even switched engines midway through and this would actually be a game that they put out as a stopgap or as crazy as it sounds this could actually be most of the game that they were developing and then they decided to switch over to a different engine and not quite restart development on Titanfall 3 but uh definitely go back a bit and and start back up a bit so it sounds like, as Jason is pointing out here, it's going to be a while for Titanfall 3 either way. So this kind of gives people who are a fan of the Titanfall series, maybe you like the gunplay of it, the feel of it. Uh, maybe you like the high frame rate with things like um, with, with the Source Engine. It seems like this is a good way for people to uh, get back into that series and, of course, get a free-to-play Battle Royale for EA, something that they desperately want because it's a lot of money for a lot of these other companies, and EA has not done that. Even Battlefield 5, which should have had a free-to-play mode for Battle Royale, didn't have a free-to-play mode for Battle Royale, or really any kind of Battle Royale, I, I don't believe. So it wasn't to the point where we have things like Fortnite, of course, having it. So it's interesting, nonetheless, to see that. But this whole situation around a stealth release... That's the thing about these free-to-play games. You can do that because people don't have to then figure out, you know, do I have to save up money to buy this game, for example, a $6 game. EA is just going to release it, apparently, free-to-play. And they can stealth release these things if it's free-to-play. And it's kind of exciting because we learned about this again on uh, Friday, so yesterday, and it's coming out uh, two days from now. So it's, it's nice to have that where you don't have to wait for months and months, even years at times for a game to come out. You hear about it and then a few days later you get to play it and try it out. So interesting stuff. Let me know what you think about this situation though, guys, down below about Titanfall uh, getting this interesting spinoff called Apex Legends. Do you like the idea of a spinoff with a battle royale mode and that Titanfall 3 still appears to be in development, but it's going to be a bit, we're talking 
2020, 2021 maybe. Like, it sounds like it's going to be a couple years still. It might even be a game that launches on next-gen platforms or is, like, cross-gen, right? Like, it's a PS4, PS5 game and an Xbox One and Xbox Scarlet game. But let me know what you think about this situation. If you're excited for it, are you kind of frustrated that it doesn't have any of the Titans in it, but you understand it's kind of a spin-off and it's a free Battle Royale game? I like the idea of teams of three, though. I think that'll be really, really cool. And I look forward to seeing what it looks like. It sounds like it's going to look pretty similar to what we're used to with things like Titanfall 2. But I like the way that game controlled. Make sure you guys give this video a like if you liked it. Uh, dislike if not. Guys, I'll see you in the next video.